Hi, I'm David Walton on the newsstand at the Music Messer 2013 and I'll show you the new 1073N mic preamp and EQ module. This is the actual module. It looks exactly the same as the classic 1073N mono mic preamp. Gain control, frequency controls, filter, phase switch and EQ. Everybody knows the 1073, it's a classic, it needs no description. However, we've re-engineered this particular model for several reasons, one of them being connectivity. As I, I can now remove the module. It uses the same Class A design with the specific Neve transformers, so it's very, very heavy, and it will plug into a rack or to an existing Neve console and in addition, on the rear of the module, we've added a power supply input, line input, mic input and DI inputs, and a line output. So in addition to being inserted into a console with the existing connector, this can be used entirely standalone. No need for a rack, no need for a console, you can take this wherever. And with the included power supply, which is a small mini brick, that's all you need. Microphone, power supply, cables and some kind of recording equipment and that's it. Genuine Neve 1073. Now that's a genius idea. And I have to know there's not a lot of room inside there. So do you have to sort of move boards around? Yes, the, the re-engineer aspect of this is to put a surface mount circuit board in there. These modules were designed in the 70s and were hand built with uh, soldering irons, resistors and wires. We've re-engineered all that and put it onto a surface mount circuit board made in Burnley in England so that we can squeeze even more components into the same module size with extra features and re therefore reduce the price because we've reduced the labour necessary to make the module. So the price reduces from 2099 list, which is the hand wired classic, the 1073N is 1495 plus taxes. So a significant drop in price. A very significant drop in price. There's going to be traditionalists that argue, well, it's surface mount, it's going to sound different. So what, what strategies have you tried to employ to make sure that they're, they're going to be happy? One of, the, one of the designers of the 1073 Classic was involved in the re-engineering of this module and did the re-engineering side by side with the Classic, the listening test, the audio precision test, the plots, the noise floors, distortion, harmonics, everything is identical. There is no difference whatsoever. We will still manufacture the Handway Classics in parallel with these. So if the purists want the Handway Classics, then they can still buy them as they are now. The 1073N is available now. Thank you. And have you got something else as well? Yes. Several years ago, we released the first Neve uh, module in a 500 series format, which was the 1073 LB. The 1073 LB is a mono mic pre, and since it was introduced in 2010, it's been the biggest selling mic preamp for the last two years running, more than anyone, which is, which is quite an achievement for a fairly new model. And it just shows the, uh, the, the quality of the mic pre in the Neve 1073. Uh, following that, we decided to expand a little and release a mic pre that no one really knows about, but is one of the most successful mic pre's ever. And it's the mic pre from the 88R console, which is installed in studios like Abbey Road, uh, Air Studios. Uh, it's used on scoring stages in Hollywood to record all the, all the film scores. And it's the mic pre from the 88R that became the Neve 88R LB mic pre for the 500 series format. And that is a genuine Neve 88R mic pre. So from the console, there is no difference at all in sonic performance between the console and this particular mic pre. This was launched uh, last year in, in uh, October and since then it has been also a, a very, very a good selling module. So pricing on that one? The pricing on that is £8.95 excluding taxes. Is there I know that the, the 500 series rack has got certain design challenges. Did you have to change any kind of rail, rail voltages to run in the 500 rack? We had some technical challenges where we did have to uh, alter the way in which the voltages were created and how they reacted. But we, uh, we created a design which is completely stable and took into account the flaws of the 500 series to our advantage. We did some very, very special designs to, considering these are transformer-based modules, 
that, that draw a lot of current, but the 500 series is not necessarily a high current provider. We had to do some very clever trickery in the circuits to make sure that we didn't overload or overdrive any of the, uh, the modules on the other back plane. So it, it took a, a finessing period to get within the uh, sort of VPR Alliance specification, but we're well within that specification, and in some cases, we are more accurately within that specification than many other modules that are manufactured today. And physical size, will it fit into every rack system out there? Because I know some modules are slightly bigger than others, or slightly smaller, there's uh, issues with some rack systems. Yeah, well, we, we got the VPR Alliance specification, and we manufacture all of our modules to that exact specification. We have a jig in the factory, which is basically a, a, a slot and every module we make goes into that slot and make sure that they fit. So every module we release fits the uh, specification exactly. We do have reports of modules not fitting in racks, but the problem is that it's the rack, and not necessarily the module. The, the, the tolerances of the racks are very variable. Some racks are good, some racks are not so good. It's, um, it's nothing that we can control, unfortunately. As long as we control the module to be exact, then we can say that the need module is exact, and it could be the rack that's the problem. So do you see this is uh, aimed at Project Studios? It's, it's aimed at everyone, Project Studios. The, the main advantage of the 500 series is that you can uh, spend a little money to begin with and build up a collection of outboard within a rack that is conveniently uh, transportable. So you can build up a, your favourite flavour of outboard gear like Macri's, EQ's, compressors, and it allows you to be the most cost effective and build up a very, very premium quality chain. And I guess I should ask, any plans for anything new? Should we watch this space? We've no plans to release anything in the 500 series format now, just yet, because we've got the two micros, the EQ and the compressor. Um, never say never. We could always develop something, something new. But uh, our, our like, concentration has been on the 1073N for now, and we're going to maybe expand that product in the near future.